Hi friends, wanted to make another quick video. Hopefully this is gonna help you remember what we've been learning and talking about in foundations about our vowels. So vowels are very important. Remember, there can be no word that doesn't have at least one vowel in it. So it's important that we get our vowels correct. How many vowels are there in the alphabet? Five, very good. Do we remember them? I hope we remember them. A, E, I, O, U. And we've talked about it a bunch of times that vowels make two different kinds of sounds. What are the two different kinds of sounds that vowels make? I even wrote it on the board to, hint, to give you a hint. Good, short vowels and long vowels. So one vowel can make two different kind of sounds. And let me write those vowels for you again. A, E, I, O, and U. Very good. Now, the short vowels are the vowel sounds that we've been learning from the very beginning of kindergarten. So say them with me. A short vowel sound. A, E, I, A, U. Very good. And we also learned in foundations, I think it was last week, a symbol that we use, a sign that we use to show that a vowel is short. What did that symbol look like? Who remembers what that symbol looked like? Okay, let me give you a hint. Let's see if you got it right. Kind of like a smiley mouth, right? Kind of like a smiley face. So if you see a word or a vowel that has that symbol on top of it, you know it's a short vowel and it's going to make the ah ah or the eh, eh sound, very good. Now, long vowels. Long vowels, I think are easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Because long vowels say their names, very good. So a long vowel says A, E, I, O, and U. Easy, right? Now, who remembers what the symbol looked like to show that a vowel should make the long sound? Good, nice straight line over the top would be a long vowel sound. Um, I think somebody, I, I think it might have been a Rob, I don't remember, but somebody had said that this looks like a long line, so that is a good way for us to remember the long line means a long vowel sound, and short is that happy face sound. So, what we were talking about too is this, oh, I have a visitor, hold on, come here Archie. Oh, somebody else wants to learn about vowels. Say hi, Archie. Hi, Archie. Archie's got his sweater on because he got his hair cut and he's cold. Okay, Archie, I gotta go back to work. Go, shoot. Hi, okay, so short and long, and we've also talked about that sneaky, silent E. We've seen a lot of words that have that sneaky, silent E at the end, and it has a job. What's the job of the silent E? Good, it changes the sound of the vowel. It changes it from a short vowel sound to a long vowel sound. So let's practice with this word, ready? Okay, let's tap out that sound or that word. M, A, D, mad, right? You got it? M, A, D mad. But here comes that sneaky, sneaky E. And it's going to join the word so that now the word looks like this. Oh, now, don't forget, I want to use these symbols too. So, m, a, d, a was what? A short or a long vowel? Good, it was a short vowel, so I'm going to make our little smiley face up there. Okay, so then that sneaky silent E traveled in, and now we have M-A-D-E. 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 That doesn't sound like a word I've ever heard before because we're forgetting. When we have that sneaky silent E, now it's changed the um, letter A from being a short vowel to being a long vowel sound, very good. So now that means if we tap this out, we're gonna tap it with a long vowel, and we're gonna pretend that E is not there because it's silent. So let's tap it out now. M, A, D, made, ah, M, 
A, D, made. Very good. So that's how the E brings a vowel from a short sound to a long sound. Very, very good. Short and long vowels are always the trick to making sure you're saying those words correctly. Okay, I hope this video helps you. Please keep practicing. We have um, a lot of fun things coming up in foundations and one of those is to keep working with our vowels. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.